What is up guys, this is JG Andrew to the Droid Syndicate team, and today I'm basically going to show you how to root your Sprint Galaxy S3, but this will actually work on pretty much all the Galaxy S3s, but remember these are for the LTE Galaxy S3s, so this won't work for the international version. But here we go, so we're going to root our phone, now go to this link right here, Clockwork Mod Recovery for all SGS3 LTE variants. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring you to this page. Now on this page, what you basically have to do is download this Clockwork Mod Recovery LTE SGS3 version 4.tar.md5. Go ahead and click on one or two, it doesn't matter. So you can click on one for example and it will download it. And now you are going to want to download the Samsung USB drivers for Windows if you haven't already. So go ahead and download that as well. And then download Odin version 3.0.4. So go ahead and download either one, doesn't matter. So I'm going to download the first one. And now go back to that page that you were at before and go to this link, root from recovery. And then go to right here and click one or two, it doesn't matter. Now, so now that you have all of those downloaded, I'll be right back with you guys. What you're going to do now is go to your desktop and make a new folder. So go ahead and click on, right click on your desktop, go to new folder, and you can name anything you want, but from now on, I'm just going to keep it new folder with a 2. You can name it to SGS3 root, it doesn't matter, but yeah. Now go back to those downloads, you can see that I have all those downloads right down here. So go ahead and put all of those down in that folder. So go ahead and show in folder, scroll over, drag it in there, and repeat the process for every single one. Okay, so now that we have all of them in that folder, go ahead and double click on new folder. Go ahead and double click on Odin, which is right down here. Let me get this guy for you. So go ahead and double click on Odin now. Double click on that. And run this as administrator. Now this is basically Odin, and in Odin we are going to flash the recovery for our phone first. So, I'll be right back with you guys on your next step. Now what you're going to want to do is make sure you have those Samsung drivers installed. So go ahead and run the installation process if you haven't already, and go ahead and connect your USB cable, connect it to your computer, and connect it to your phone. So plug it in just like that, and your computer should sense it right there, and it should pop up with open folder. And there it is, L SPHL710, go ahead and click on that. Drag the folder down and go ahead and put one of those files into that folder. Now the file that we're going to put in is called Team Epic Root From Recovery. So go ahead and drag this folder over and bring it right over to and drag it into the phone file. And on your phone it's going to say that it is syncing right there. And once it's done syncing you can go ahead and disconnect your phone from your computer. And I'll be back with you guys with our next step. Now go ahead and go back to Odin. It should be right down in this bottom bar where Windows is and open up Odin again. And in Odin we are going to load everything up. So go ahead and uncheck auto reboot. And now go to PDA, go to your desktop and search whatever folder that you put all those files in. So mine was a new folder 2. So there it is right there. And go ahead and put in this Clockwork Mod Recovery LTE SGS3 version 4.tar.md5. Double click that and it's go it's it's just going to go in right like that. And I'll be back with you guys with the next step. Now go ahead and make sure your Galaxy S3 is powered off and hold up down volume rocker down home and power at the same time. Keep on holding it until the screen pops up and now press volume rocker up. 
Now go ahead and connect your device with the USB cable once again, just like this. Having little difficulties there, sorry guys. And wait for Odin to give you the okay that it's connected and to see if it's connected and everything. Make sure that it has sort of this blue icon in the upper left. You can see there that it's sort of a light blue right there. Now, it doesn't matter what number this number is right here. It, the only thing that matters is that auto reboot, everything else is unchecked except for F reset time. And once everything looks like this, go ahead and press start. But this is where the tricky part comes in. So I'll show you guys this once we are done. Actually, let me go ahead and show you guys this. Go ahead and pop out the back cover of your Galaxy S3. Go ahead and pop off the back cover, as you can see there. And I'll show you guys what to do next. So go ahead and press start. As you can see, our phone right there. Now once it says pass, go ahead and disconnect your device. And as you can see here, go ahead and pull out the battery. So go ahead and pull out the battery of your device. Go ahead and put it back in. And straight from here, we are actually going to do volume rocker up, home button, and power all at the same time. And as soon as the Samsung screen pops up, go ahead and release and that is going to boot into the custom recovery that you just flashed. So as you can see, we are in clockward modern recovery. Let me so go ahead and focus this really quick. Sorry, guys. And go ahead and scroll down to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from internal SD card. And write down here, team epic root from recovery dot zip. And go ahead and install that. And that's going to root your device, so congratulations, your device is now rooted. Click go back and reboot system now. So congratulations, you are now rooted with your device. Pretty cool, huh? And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. It's going to go ahead and boot up. And next I'm going to show you guys um, to check that you're rooted, so I'll be right back. Now once your phone is at the home screen, you may have an Android upgrading. For some reason it gave me an Android upgrading, but most likely it won't do that. Now to check and see if you have root, click on apps, scroll over, and check to make sure that you have super user. If you have super user, that means you're rooted. You Super user is what allows you to have root access. You're good to go. You've successfully rooted your device. Go ahead and check my other channel for ROM reviews, how to install on ROMs. I'm going to have a lot more support for you Samsung Galaxy S3 owners. And yeah, guys, leave a comment. Give me some suggestions of how to make my videos better. I know I do sort of stutter over my words. I'm not very good at this yet. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. And go ahead and check out Woba Josh. He's one of my great friends, actually, on YouTube. And he helps me a lot. And he'll, he'll, he'll just support you greatly if you watch his videos. If you comment, he'll just respond right away. He's just an awesome guy, so go ahead and check him out. I'll have a link to his channel in the description. And yeah, guys, I'll have all the links to how to root this in the description as well. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this once again, and I'll see you all later.